Hey everybody, uh, it's Patrick from Ada Stacks. I just wanted to go over a quick um, tutorial on how to generate link previews in your apps. Uh, I'm just making use of this uh, simple card list here, uh, but you can certainly create a custom list here if you wanted to. And let's say that we have an app and we want our users to be able to submit a website link um, and then generate a preview of that link uh, right here. Um, so uh, I do want to make note that you will need a paid uh, version of Adalo and AdaStax uh, to do this. You can get started for free uh, with AdaStax if you'd like, um, uh, but to use more, uh, to make more requests, you'll need a paid version of AdaStax. And this also only works with individual elements as well. This does not, uh, custom actions don't actually work reliably on forms. So, um, with the little shake from the dog, we will uh, dive in here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the submit button here and I'm gonna actually add another action here and go to custom action. We'll do a new custom action and we're gonna call this uh, uh, get link preview, all right? And we'll do create, we'll go next. And this is where I need the base URL from AdaStax. So what I'm gonna do is I've already got the website link preview pulled up. I'm just going to click on the help guide here. And you can see that uh, all, I've, all I need to do here is just copy this, copy this URL. And I'm actually just going to paste this right here, just like that. And then the, the next thing that I need to do is actually create a, um, an input here for the link that we're going to send. So I'll create a text field and we'll call this uh, URL, URL to send. Right, and I'm just going to do something simple for now, like uh, AdaStacks, AdaStacks.com. All right, and it does need to be the entire URL, so I'll just go ahead and hit done there. And the method is going to be post. And uh, I'm going to add two items here. One is uh, a query parameter for the content type. Right, and this value is going to be application slash JSON. This tells it what type of information we're sending. And this next one is actually just going to be my API key, right? Okay, I'll click on there. And the next thing, the last thing I need to do is actually just replace this capitalized text here, this uh, part that says URL to preview. Uh, we need to replace that with this input that we just created here. So I'm just going to click this, click URL to send, and then we will run the test request here. And if all goes well, we will get back a response saying test successful. Um, if you don't see anything here in this uh, results section, make sure to click add item and those items should be in there for you. And then you can also choose show full response uh, if uh, it errored out on you and, and you have nothing in the add item section, right? But you can see here that I have uh, an image URL, a social share image uh, that we will set as the source image. I've got a title here and a description of the website, all right? So I'll just go ahead and click Save here. And then the last thing that I need to do is just on this website, uh, make sure that this button is referencing this input. So the URL to send is actually going to be other components input, which is this input right here. We'll click Done. And I'm going to link this plus button to this Share a Link screen, right? So we'll just link to Share a Link. Instead, the transition should be a modal transition, and we'll click Done. And I'm actually just going to set this as the uh, welcome screen as well so that we don't have to log in. All right, let's give this a quick preview. Uh, or actually, I'm sorry, we need to actually set the, the values in this list here. Uh, so this is a, a list of uh, websites. Uh, you'll notice over here in my database, I have a site title, an image URL, a description, uh, a site URL. So all of these need to be saved in this uh, database collection, right? Uh, after after this is uh, submitted. So let me just, uh, after we get all that information, we need to create a website. And let's go into site title here. The title needs to be whatever that link preview returns. So this will just be title. The image URL is of course going to be image URL. The description is going to be the description and the site URL is going to be whatever they put into that input right there. All right. 
Okay, so it's creating a website and now we need to set the, the values here. So let's make our title just be the, uh, the website title. Right, the image is actually going to be a URL. And let's set the URL here to be the image URL. Uh, if there's no image, you can show a placeholder if you want or something like that. And then for the body up underneath here, uh, instead of this Latin text here, we're just gonna show the description here, right? Um, all right, now we should be good to go. Let's give it a shot. All right, so let's make a post. Uh, let's do Ada Stacks again. Oops. AdaStacks.com. We will submit this. And it will get it back. And there we go. There's our link preview there. So we've got an image. We've got our website title and our website description there. All right. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out in Slack or email me directly. Hope that was helpful for you.